Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a scene like this with a, a wine glass and a wine bottle. And and, and this is what it looks like at the moment. So let's get started. I'm going to make a new scene. Yep. No. We delete the, uh, the cube to start with, and uh, we're going to want a the cylinder, not a cylinder, sorry, a uh, circle. And make sure um, it's on this here. And we're going to hit the tab, go into edit mode. Make sure we're on face mode as well. And oh, hang on, before it gets started, so you can see what I'm doing. And, uh, keys, so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm going to hit I to scale in a little bit. Oh, quite a bit. And now uh, A to deselect all that, and C to and then um, click to select that. And now we extrude that. Up. Now we are going to hit I. Let's go in low. And uh, actually, sorry, hit I. No, hit E. Enter. Let's go that out. And we're going to pull it up a little bit. Hit I. Let's go that in. E, let's go up. Let's go out a little. And just go in a little bit. Just go down a little bit. And put the bottom. We're going to. Select all the biggest ones down here. Oh no, actually, we're going to want to go into vertex mode. Sorry. And click. Uh, we want this around here. Hit E. Z. Bring that down a little. Scale that out a little bit. We hit E, 0, Enter, and I think it's Alt and M, and at center. So it brings it all to the center there. And that's pretty much our wine glass, but it's a little bit, the uh, bottom of the wine glass is a little bit too big. And that's perfectly alright. We just select all the vertex around here. Just go in. That's looking a bit better. About there. Now, what we're going to want to do is go over to the modifier tab and we want in a subsurf modifier. And we turn it up to, uh, say, about 2. Go back into edit mode, uh, go into face mode, and select everything in there, smooth, and now at the top here we're going to want to get the rim of the cup, and then we want to flatten that out, and we're probably going to want to do the same for the bottom. Like so. And you may see it kind of deforming a little bit around here. And we're going to add some loop cuts in there. So add one here, bring that down. I run a little bit of the deform. But not as much as it was. And it kind of 
smoothing the edge here. I don't really want that. I kind of want. Oh. Yeah. Back to center. Um. Kind of want to. Oh. Add a deep cut. That here. And we want to add another one in a little bit. And we can add a new cut on the next part of the It can be retained. Okay. Looks like we're uh, underneath. The eye. Bring that in a little bit. And like so. And we're going to want to change it a little bit up here. It's starting to look a lot more like a wine glass. And we add another loop cut up here. A sharpen edge up a little bit. Like so. And that's pretty much our wine glass done. Uh, okay, we have See down there, it kind of deforming a little bit. So we're going to select them. Hit I. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, that might be why. Okay, go on face mode. And we want to select that and hit I. And that's pretty good. And now uh, edit mode into object mode. Get the same thing again. Pull it over. Scale that down a little bit. We don't want it, we kind of want it a little bit bigger than this. Yeah. And what we're going to do is go into edit mode, go into uh, vertex mode so we can select the vertex around here. Select all of them. And go to this mode. Bring that up. E to extrude, and then we're going along this set. And we're going to extrude about there. Extrude again, set. About there. Scale that in. Not actually. And then T said, scale that in a bit more. And then E said, looking a bit funny for now, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to tweak it once we got the modifiers on it. So we're going to do a subsurf modifier on that as well. Ramp that up to two. And we're going to want to add a solidifier. And I believe we want to drag it downwards, so and be minus. I like it around there. We're going to face mode. Select all the faces by hitting A, and we smooth all of them. And we're going to want to uh, yeah, I'll do. Um, Deforming a bit down the bottom, so we're going to add a loop cut down there. Like wine glasses do have a little bit of a round tint, it isn't completely flat, so we add it up a little bit more. So it kind of gives it a nice little round edge. And now we're going to fiddle with vertex mode and select them. And now we tweak these to what seems like would be ideal. I want to add a loop cut here. Bring that down. Add a loop cut here. Bring that up a bit. 
this and you have to buy it. And uh, that's pretty much it. And now what we're going to do is um, come out of that, go into object mode. If I hit and tap again, if you're already in object mode, we're going to add a plane on the floor. Scale that up. Don't matter really how huge it is, bigger the better. Can be anyway. And we're going to add a cube and scale that up as well. And, uh, maybe I want it to be maybe a bit bigger. I want a bit more room to work with. Right. And now we're going to go in up here to the render settings. And we want it to cycle render. Click on our wine glass. Go over to material, new, and click on here. And we want glass. And we're preview. It's a preview. And same for the wine bowl. Click on the wine bowl, new. And we turn that to glass. We're going to make it a green color. I think I'm going to make it a little bit lighter from what I did earlier. Go over to the wine glass again. Very carefully give it a tint of blue. I, I like a little tint of blue on it anyway. I like blue. Um, and now what we're going to do is make sure you're in object mode. You can either go down here and go into the edit mode or object mode. But make sure you're in object mode and then click plane. Uh, we're going to scale that along the Y, make it a little bit longer, scale that up, and we're going to move it over here. Bring it up a bit. We want to rotate it on the Y. And okay, I don't know what happened there. Uh, rotate it a bit more. I kind of want to rotate it a little bit along the side. About there. Uh, we want to give that a material as well, and we want emissive. And uh, go down to this little tab here, and we want to do a bit of a render. Let's see what it looks like. Give me a sec, I'm going to render settings. Oh yeah, if you've got a NVIDIA card, you might want to go into, if if you haven't set up already, user preference, uh, system, and make sure this um, tab here is um, clicked, and uh, click on your um, NVIDIA card. If you have two cards, um, I'm not sure what the sense is, you might do select them both, but I'm not sure if you like to select one. Not, so you might have to fiddle with that and then go over to the uh, render tab up here so click on this we want it on GPU render and check out how quick this render renders hello that's a good question um, let's see is it first tiles Is it tiles? Okay, yeah. Um, I say uh, mine tiles to five twelve. I'm not sure if there's the best uh one for my video card, and um, if it's the correct power of two. Well, I believe it is a power of two. Um. Going back into this mode, uh, click on that, go into material, and click on that again because we didn't select it. We want to turn it up, I'll say about three, should give it a nice little light effect, and um, do a render. Uh, the glass seems a little bit blue, so I'll click on that. Uh, 
it's a bit, a bit tricky trying to get the nice blue you like. If you want blue, there is. Okay. Are you going to open up? Um, maybe I'll put it back to zero. Oh no, put it back to one on me. So, one, 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 zero, point one, two, shot. Uh, yeah. One, zero, I don't know, one, point, zero. Let's see if that is nice. It's a nice one. Uh, the white ball is looking a bit too green. Uh, it lets me out of this mode, thank you. Um, So I kind of want it darker. That looks like a nice wine bowl colour. Kind of want it a bit lighter. I thought maybe it would let you see through a bit more better. It is still a rain. It should help to get rid of the rain effect. Um, you want to go in give me a second it's around here somewhere Not in there. yeah okay um you can do oh, that's the wrong thing so sample share yeah, you want to go and sampling um render you can that that is for like when you hit F12 and you have your camera in the scene. If you're going to render like that, you'll want that up as high as you can and leave your um, computer while you're doing something. It'll put it to like uh, 9,000. Normally good. It takes took me about like an hour to render at 9,000 over an hour. And um, if you put that up a bit, you can. If you look up here, you can see it's at 10 now, and it puts it. Uh, 15 is we'll carry on from where it left off. So, it can be a bit more render. so, more time you have, the higher that is, uh, these are well, high. Depending if you're going to render in your throughput point, it's uh, then probably don't put up and if you're going to do it as well, camera thing and render that way. You're going to wait that high, but um, higher your sensors are, uh, longer the uh, uh, effect is less. It can't, so that's a 